Independence. All right, well, Saturday is officially the first day of summer. Oh yeah, and ABC7 mm -hmm. Chief Meteorologist Bill Kelly is here to explain the summer solstice. Yeah, guys, I always like to do this at the start of any season. You know, it's you say 5.43 p.m. That is not a random time. It's not like scientists get together and just decide, oh, well, let's pick 5.43. There's something astronomical that happens, which we're going to talk about. But before we do that, let's set the stage here and talk about the Earth. Now, we all know that the Earth spins on its axis from west to east. It rotates around. It takes 24 hours, and that's what marks one day for us. Now, while at the same time the Earth is spinning, we also have it rotating around the sun, and this takes approximately 365 days. It's what marks our year. So we got a lot going on. We have the Earth that's rotating around the sun. We got the Earth that's rotating around itself, but there's another key component to all of this, and that is the fact that the Earth is tilted on its axis. It is tilted here at approximately 23 and a half degrees, and that is very important because if the Earth were not tilted, we would not have seasons, we would not have weather as we know it. Everything would be kind of layered up. So the tilt, the spin, all this plays a huge role. So what is the summer solstice? Well, the summer solstice is when the Earth is tilted at its most point in the northern hemisphere, at least, toward the sun, and that gives the sun its strongest angles here on the Earth. It generally happens for us between the 20th and the 22nd of June this year. That occurs at 5.43 p.m. on Saturday. That is when the Earth is tilted at most toward the sun in the northern hemisphere. A couple of other note things to point out. It's when we have our longest daylight. So on Saturday, the sunrise in D.C. is at 5.42 in the morning, meaning if it's clear, you're seeing daylight out there at 5 o'clock in the morning in the, in the eastern sky. It does not set until 8.36. That gives us a total of 14 hours and 54 minutes of daylight because again we're tilted toward the sun so we get a lot more sun angle and another very cool thing to point out at least at least i think this is pretty cool because it's tilted in that direction when we are looking at the earth everything above the arctic circle which is 66 and a half degrees everywhere above that gets 24 hours of sunshine and some places the farther north you are the more you get uh, utkiavik which used to be called barrow alaska it's in the far northern part of alaska the sun has not set there since May 11th, and it will not set there again until August 1st. So we're talking almost three months of no daylight there or no nighttime whatsoever. So that's what the start is. 5.43 p.m. is officially when that sunshine is at its highest point in the sky. We're tilted the most toward it. It's over the Tropic of Cancer. The opposite occurs in winter. That's around December 21st when it's at the other angle and it's strongest in the southern hemisphere. Hope that makes sense. Saturday is looking warm. It's going to feel like summer. We'll have more on that coming up in just a few minutes, guys. Thank you for the lesson, Bill. I'm going to rewind and make my kids watch that. Yeah. That'll be their schoolwork for the day. <laughs> <laughs>